What's going on YouTube? We're back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be doing some uh, product research, but this is going to be just straight go to Amazon. Let's find products that are in demand and let's see if we could source them online and get them delivered to our house. So if you guys want to learn how to do that, definitely stay tuned for this video and drop a like down below. So now we're on the... <clears throat> And now we are on Amazon.com. So we're going to put 20 minutes on the board and see what we can source in those 20 minutes. Um, I'm not going to use anything I previously looked up. Let's see. Where, where can we start? Where can we start? Sauce we're going to start with. Basic word. All right, this seems super heavy. Um, this may not be a bad item though. Let's see. Let's just type in Hoi Fong Sriracha Sauce and see how many options they got online. <clears throat> Featured average customer rating. These look tiny, but expensive. This looks profitable. There's no way this costs 14 bucks. Let's see. It was an 18 ounce plastic bottle. Target's got the eight ounce, eight ounce again, two pack. Two pack of 18 from No, I don't think this is a two pack. I think that's four sixty nine for one, so let's check that out. Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, so there's our first profitable item. Yes, this only sells 19 times a month, but we're gonna take that get a little bit more specific on Amazon. See if there's any bundles, see if there's any two packs. So that last one was way better than this two pack. Um, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. Oh. Is this another one? Let's see. No, same listing. All right, so that's gonna be our first product. Um, and let's see if this same seller, what are they doing? FBM, FBM, FBA. Let's check out this FBA guy, e-saving shop. <clears throat> wow, 100,000 orders. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so they, they're definitely in on this. They're flipping every single kind of sriracha under the sun. Um, let's see what else they got. This looks like a restaurant depot kind of pickup. Something simple. It can be super profitable if priced right. Wow. These websites are taxing on this 8.5 pound hoi fang. All right, so we got sriracha. It's going to be our first item. <clears throat> now I'm just clicking through a couple other random ones. All right, so this looks like they're taking advantage of maybe like an Asian market or they're just doing straight up wholesale of everything from... Um, that you could find. Yeah, this is all stuff that I see in the Asian grocery store when I go. A lot of these teas and stuff are good if you can get them wholesale. I honestly haven't tried yet. I know that this is very popular, the ballerina tea. No, this isn't the ballerina tea. But let's see if they uh, have a good deal. Uncle Lee's. 
18 bags, 318, 968, and I'm pretty sure this does qual qualify for small and light. If I'm wrong on that, drop a comment down below, but this is another good item from what it looks like. Um, let's check the exact small and light specifications while we're here, because I know that's a question that a lot of people are going to be asking. So when you're doing small and light, you have to price the item below $10, which we're at. Um, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let me get the exact requirements. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. This is perfect. So it has to be, um, small. <laughs> it's gotta be light and it's gotta be under 10 bucks. So yeah, this definitely qual will qualify for small and light because it is, only 18 bags of tea which i can't see weighing more than yeah nothing um so yeah this is going to be a great item um i'm actually going to try and source this from the local market when i go but let's see what the stock count is let's see who's selling what so we got be beautiful style he's got to be making a buck at 880 on this Yes, yeah, so that's really good profit off a really cheap item. You're almost, you're at like looking at a, what, $3 buy cost and making almost $2 in profit. Yeah, that's great. So this is going to be a great item. Just double checking, triple checking. 18 bags. Super. I don't know if this is the exact same one, but this is Uncle Lee's Tees. All right. Let's, let's look at this again. Make sure we're looking at the right thing. Dieters. So it looks like this is um, the old packaging, I'm assuming, for this. And then the new the new packaging is here. But yeah, you're looking at anywhere from two to five bucks. This looks like a really good deal. In stock, super, super, yeah. So they changed the packaging up, but shiny green tea dyer. Yeah, so guys, make sure you're always double and triple checking this stuff. I, for me personally, I'm going to order probably one of these just to see what comes in and see what it actually looks like. I'm also going to try and find this actual packaging in the store. Um, but now we got a, another item to add to the list. So tomorrow I am actually going to the Chinese grocery store local to me, and we're going to try and pick this up. And also that, um, that big thing is Sriracha. So now we got two items and we're only eight minutes in. So these are items that we can order online, but also that we can get in store and get, into Amazon ASAP because we know that the quicker it gets there, the quicker it sells. So let's see what else these people are on. <clears throat> I'm just going to go to the cheapest guy because he has seems to have a lot of stock of it. 10,000 orders in the past couple months. This is the Slim T. So many variations of this stuff. Wow. Um, this is a 72 count. Oh, they're different counts of. Okay, that makes sense. So, again, there's probably a ton of these, but we're just going to go see who's cheapest on this and go stalk their page next. So, right now, you could call this reverse sourcing, storefront stalking. Wow, 50K orders in the last 12 months. Good for them. Um, and only 400 ratings. That's impressive. Probably if they requested ratings, they would get a ton more. 
Maggie seasoning. This, this, there's no way that this is this expensive. That's funny. The one that weighs less, but has a different logo, I'm assuming is the newer one. Liquid seasoning versus, this is liquid too, um, is way more. Eight twenty six for the Maggie. Let's see what we got going on with this. Four bucks, not going to work. So now I'm just looking at a website that had that previous product in stock to see if they have some <clears throat> random stuff that I've previously purchased. What does seem? I'm going to just type it in snacks, snacks. I didn't see that. Okay. Um, high chews are sometimes good, but I'm really looking for Kit Kat. Let's just type it in. Nope. No Kit Kat. No luck on that. Okay. Wow, this guy's got 900 of them. I'm assuming this is probably a wholesale product that these guys are getting so much of. If not just like a local grocery store, I could totally see selling the stuff themselves on Amazon. This looks like something fun, but probably tough to source. All right, this guy seems to know what's going on. He's got 240 in stock. We're more than halfway through the uh, the sourcing. But hey, if you want to be successful, you got to put in the time. It's not something that just overnight you're going to be the best sourcer ever. It just does not work like that. Coffee syrup. I'm assuming this person's getting all of this stuff directly from a store like Costco. This might be good. Selling 300 times a month. It's on Instacart. but no dice. And guys, the program I'm using right now is Seller Amp to just get a quick um, look at how many sellers are on the listing, who's selling what, and <clears throat> what kind of returns you can really be looking at. Um, this is a super quick way to just gauge yes or no if it's a buy or not. And when you're looking at a ton of products, that's the easiest way to pump out the volume. Um, when it comes to sourcing. And we're back right where we left off. Sorry, my laptop needed a charger. Um, now we're, we're all good to go. We're not going to die mid video, but we're still looking into this store. 
A lot of just random two packs. Like this is probably a good kit, a movie theater kit. What is this? Golden Barrel. Flavco salt. Wow, that's a lot of salt. 35 ounces of salt for your popcorn. Just what you need. Is this the same item? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so we got... Pick it up on Arthur Kill Road in Staten Island. Look at that. Um, so that's four fifty. We're gonna add that in here, or four fifty nine. I'm gonna say five bucks for that. I know there's two things and we're bundling it together, but there's our first item. And stuff like this, guys, the scanning softwares are not gonna pick up on. So by me actually doing this and looking through and seeing, like, hey. Work we source this from, work we source that from, and really finding a good price is what's going gonna really give us those profitable opportunities. And I think that this is going to be one of them. Um, we're selling a case of these, so twelve for. Let's see. Oh, so, uh, how much is that? Seven, seven, seven eighty-three. Yeah, seven eighty-three. Um, So 1283 is going to be the total for this kit. So let's see the one time purchase. Yeah, so just this one person, it seems like, is on this listing. And they've consistently been one to two people on the listing. Um, And they only have five in stock. So this might be something that you jump on um, and catch them going out of stock on like re like now in a couple days. Within the next days, they're, a couple days, they're going to go out of stock of this. And you can take advantage of bundling these two together. Um, wow. Wow. Very interesting that people are spending almost – $35 on seasoning for their popcorn, but hey, um, to each his own, I guess. All right, guys, um, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So we were able to source four profitable products that we're going to go not only order online, but also try and find in store doing some retail arbitrage. I'm going to be posting about that in another video. It might not be these specific products, but we're going to go into some of these places and see what... Um, what we can actually find, what we can get our hands on today so that we can source and get everything to Amazon ASAP because, as we all know, the holidays are fast approaching and we got to, got to, got to source, source, source until the holidays are over. Then we can hang out for a little bit, relax. It'll be a little slower, but now is the time to source. Today is the best day to get into Amazon if you're not already in it. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. It is all much appreciated. Thank you.